volare. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm here in Rome, the capital of Italy, but what's funny is Rome is actually older than Italy. It's 2,500 years old. At its height, the Roman Empire was about 12% of the world's population in comparison to today, where China is 18% of the world's population, India 17% of the world's population, and guess what's the third most populated country in the world? America. Talking America, you gotta talk shopping malls. What's funny though is that Rome is the home to the first shopping mall. Why? Because you gotta sell togas. But did you know that only freeborn Roman men were allowed to wear togas? That sucks. And since I love coffees, we'll end with this. Did you know that the cappuccino coffee drink got its name from an order of monks that wore hoods? In Italian, it's called cappuccio. Anyway, I'll show you guys around Rome. It was a little sunnier the past couple of days. Today, it sort of sucks, but hope you guys like it. Enjoy. Peace. In early 4th century, the Romans built a road network of 53,000 miles. That's why you have the saying, all roads lead to Rome. Concrete was a Roman invention that was actually used for the Pantheon and the Colosseum. Over 500,000 people lost their lives and over a million wild animals were killed throughout the duration of the battles at the Colosseum. The last fights were actually in 435 AD. Sometimes the Romans would even flood the whole Colosseum for a boat battle and the boats battled with live props like alligators and sometimes even had polar bears fight seals. Like, it's just crazy. These guys were just mad. <laughs> Roman warriors were celebrities, and according to a few sources, they were actually paid more handsomely than today's top sports stars. This looks like an old aqueduct system, and what's interesting is that the Romans used to run pipes of cold water through the homes as air conditioning. Here at the Circus Maximus, the ancient Romans used to have chariot races. The size of the stadium was like a long oval. I'll probably include a photo of it so you could see what it looked like. But yeah, these are the remnants of it now. Today, the Circus Maximus is pretty much a park. People just walk it. I don't know how many ambulances I've heard today, but there's been so many. Ancient Rome was highly influenced by classical Greek culture. The population of ancient Rome was probably about seven times more than the population of current day NYC. So cool to see among modern buildings like pieces of ancient Rome. In ancient Rome it was common for people to vomit between meals so they could eat more. It's pretty disgusting and Roman men used to actually kiss their wives at the end of the day not for romantic reasons but to actually check if their wife has been drinking the sauce. Every night at the Trevi Fountain, there's about 3,000 murals that are swept up and donated to a Catholic charity here that provides services for needy families. There's actually an interesting story about a guy whose name was Roberto Cercioletta. Between the years of 1968 and 2002, he used to come in the wee morning hours and sweep up about 1,000 euros before the officials would come and then he got busted. But between 1968 and 2002, he was making a thousand euros a day. Now that was a run. There are 900 churches here in Rome, more than any other city in the world. And there are 280 fountains here as well. So if you bought some imposter designer bags here, but went home to America and said, Oh, this Gucci, I got it when I was in Italy. You wouldn't be lying. <laughs> Chocolate. Rome has the most UNESCO sites in the world with 39. Here at the Pantheon, and you know what I want to do. I just want to touch it. <laughs> Even though probably it's not the real thing or it's been redone.